feeling better. We hear you. Part of that widespread worry over the economy, skyrocketing enrollment in food stamps, a key indicator of continued economic suffering. According to data just released from the Department of Agriculture, the number of people enrolled in SNAP has remained above 45 million every single month for three straight years. Kirsten, I want to go to you first on this. Yeah, well, this makes sense based on what we were just talking about. I think the fact that the economy is not doing well makes sense that more people are going to be, be needing assistance, right? But wait, and, I and have to challenge you yeah, on that. Yeah. Because the message coming from Democrats right now, and from the president himself, mm -hmm. is that things are much better. He just said in a speech that they've created millions of jobs and that the unemployment rate has come down and the stock market's at a record. Well, those are all true statements. I mean, I, I think that, the, I mean, everything that Why you just so said is true. Why are so many folks on food because stamps? I, because it's because acceptable. I, well, no, because no, I think because I think <clears throat> the things that you just said are, are different, right? Okay. They're focusing on the things that they can focus on that are okay. positive. So it's true. I mean, when Obama came into office, we were shedding millions and millions of jobs, and now we're adding jobs, but not a lot of jobs, but we are adding. So that's a true statement. Uh, it doesn't change the fact that, that people are still hurting, that, mm. that there are a lot of people who don't have jobs. I mean, all of these things are still true. And I think that, to, I mean, to be, to be to get this kind of supplemental assistance, do you know how little money you have to have? I mean, people are But really you could have struggling. a ton of money. I deal you know? with this. I, I represent people who, who are getting the food stamps who don't deserve it. It's cultural. They, they, they have part-time jobs where it's off the books. They have all kinds of cash. Right. So they go in, they get yeah. the food stamps, for the food, they get the cash for the beer. In the movie Cinderella Man, when the lead at character, Russell Crowe, had to finally break down and, during the Depression and accept the money from the government, it was the lowest point of his life. And when he won the boxing match and he got the money back, he went back to the government and gave it back. That's unheard of today. Yeah. Today, if you could get it for free, if you could get something on the arm, I might as well do it. And That's why they it. cheat for Sandy yeah. Relief, Katrina Relief, 9-11 Relief. Hey, if the government it's giving it out for free. I'm taking it. That's lot, what I think. A lot of energy while I was on yeah. vacation. Yeah. Well, you know, it bums me out. This is just another I'm way saying. of the government yeah. holding people down. They tell you what you can eat, where where you can shop, what you can get. It's not. It, and they make you believe that you need them to exist when really the free market should be allowed to produce jobs that pay higher. Mm. It's one that's thing what this says it. about the economy, it's another what it means. Well, well, that's the problem. And so she, she's right about that. And why don't we want to encourage um, economic independence and give people, you know, a hand up and a, versus a hand out. I don't, nowadays exactly. when you see people getting these entitlements, let me tell you something, once they get it, they don't want to give it back. No. You encourage hard work and prosperity in this country.